I'm demoing a glowing bronzer and a lip icing for women over 50. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. I'm demoing a couple products today, so let's get right to the demo. I thought the blush on Marnie Goldberg in one of her videos looks so good, but it's not blush, it's a bronzer. So I wanted to try it myself. My skin tone is similar to hers um, on the lighter side, but actually it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze it Bronzer. Um, mine has a sticker on the front that I couldn't get off. This is in the color light. They also make it in two other colors. Hold it up here so you can see. Um, on the skin, it has a little bit more of a slight luminescence without being too much because, of course, for someone my age, 60, um, too much luminescence can just accentuate lines. So I'm going to use this brush that I tend to use for bronzer. This is an e.l.f. complexion brush. I'll have all of the products I'm talking about and everything else that I'm wearing today listed in the description box below. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in there a little bit and just apply it like I would apply blush. And sometimes these colors that just aren't bright, bright blush colors look gorgeous in the pan, but on me, they're a little too clown-like. So away from my regular makeup mirror, I'm gonna put on some of this. And if there's any extra, I'll use my large powder brush to brush away and to blend. And looking in my monitor, it looks completely different than when I'm looking in the mirror that's to my side. So if I want to use a lip color that's brighter or I want to emphasize my eyes, I might use this instead of an actual blush to um, have a more uh, subtle blush look and a little bit of luminescence and just go with that. Over the years, I've had favorite lip glosses and then the company start, stops making them. I've loved, especially loved the Smashbox lip gloss that they made several years ago. It wasn't sticky. It had very little scent, maybe even no scent, and all kinds of colors, and I don't like what they're making today. And so many lip glosses out there just have a smell that I can't stand. So recently I found one I really like. This is called the Lip Icing from Pixie by Petra. This is the one called Cookie, which I probably pick because it's not too pink, it's not too orangey, and also my first dog's name was Cookie, so I kind of like that. So I want to try this on and show you what it looks like by itself and also on top of a few lipsticks. So I pulled um, a couple Macs and one um, Clinique with me today. So let's look at what it looks like by itself. I don't think I've worn this by itself just because I think, um, I don't really like it by itself. By itself, I think it's a little too sparkly, but it could do in a pinch when I just want a little bit of color and a little bit of shimmer, but it is very pretty. So now I'm gonna wipe this off and then we'll go with a lipstick and try each one with the lip icing on top. The first lipstick I'm gonna try this with is the MAC Velvet Teddy. Now, it's summer now as I'm filming this, so I normally wouldn't wear Velvet Teddy, especially by itself, because to me it's more of a winter or fall color. See, by itself, it's kind of blah for summertime, but when I put this on top, and I'm pretty much doing the whole lip, not just 
the center part of the lip. So I thought that made this look for me a lot more summery, a lot more fresh. And um, I'm trying to make sure it's not getting into fine lines and making sure that it just looks really good and age appropriate. I think it gives a youthful look to me without making me look like I'm trying to be 25. All right, now I'm gonna remove this one and let's try the next color. I'm finding a little bit of it staying on my lips. So I had to work extra hard to get it off. So my next color is also a MAC. This is their Powder Kiss lipstick and the color Sultriness. Now this one by itself is a lot more summery. I'm wearing a coral peachy color top today with the white denim jacket. Um, yeah, I like this even just by itself. It's very creamy going on. Um, a lot more creamy than the Velvet Teddy, which is from their matte collection. So um, see that by itself. So it is nice by itself. But when I put on the Pixie lip icing, It just gives it that extra little bit of pop. Um, I really love how this looks. I like how it feels. I think it's really pretty. And I think later today, this is what I'm going to wear. But I have one more to try with a Clinique lipstick. For the Clinique lipstick, I'm using their dramatically different lipstick in the color Sugar Coated. Now, since I put the little thing in the middle that is kind of clear, it's it's not as opaque as these lipsticks used to be. But very creamy, just not quite as colorful. Now, it has a little bit of shimmer in it already, but I think the, this will, Give it a little extra something. Hmm. Right? So it's a little something something on top of the lip. Let's go back to the one that I liked before. All right, I'm back to the MAC Powder Kiss and the Sultriness and the Pixie Lip Icing in Cookie. I'm just absolutely loving this. And by the way, I also love these clear caps for my MAC lipsticks. I'll also link that below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And thanks for watching. Check out one of my other videos by clicking its image over on the right side of your screen. And I'll see you in the next video.